I'm Suki Chapara and I am Santa Finbar Chapara's mom and when I am working with Santa Finn in our professional capacity, I call myself Mama Santa. Finn Barr has always had strong favorite things that he loves um, when, since he was a very little boy and he would very much identify with certain characters. And I think the first one he started out with was Godzilla when he was quite small and I actually made him a Godzilla outfit. <laughs> that had a very big tail and he literally wore it to school every day and he pretty much was known as Godzilla. <laughs> he moved on to Spider-Man oh. for a long time, Spider-Man and also Superman for a while and the Statue of Liberty. He's always had a theatrical lilt to him. One of the women that was working with Finbar, um, they went out to the store and they bought a Santa costume and I came home from work and he was in his Santa outfit and he looked the happiest I've ever seen him in his whole life. <laughs> we have a great picture of you and Miriam when you first got that, uh, your first Santa outfit. And then um, he started bugging me. He'd go, come into my room, come into my room and he'd show me Santa school. Uh, things, websites and stuff like that. He's like, I really want, I want to go to school. I really want to go to Santa school. And I was like, yeah, okay, yeah, whatever. I don't think they're going to take you, Finn. Like, I, I don't think that's going to happen. And he wouldn't give up. He persisted <laughs> until finally I was like, okay. I wrote an email and I took a really nice sort of lovely shot with him in his outfit and I wrote about Finn and, and that he was basically nonverbal but used a device to speak. And then I sent it out to five or six different schools across the country and they all rejected us like pretty badly. Like one lady was like, are you kidding me? Like no, like we don't have you know, people like that be Santa. Out of the blue, because I had sent the same letter out to maybe like eight or diff eight different places. Then we get this letter one day from Santa Tim, from um, the Kris Kringle group. And this guy was magic. Like the letter, I still have it. The email he wrote back was just like, oh my God, I can't wait to meet you guys. Come and you come for free and he comes for half price and we're gonna make this happen and we're gonna turn this into an amazing, amazing story. In June, two years ago, we drove to Philly and then the next morning they have like a complimentary breakfast and we hear this, we're sitting having breakfast and what did we hear? What did we hear Santa Tim say from across the room? Ooh, 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 ooh. A big ho, ho, ho from Santa Tim across the room going, Santa Finn, I see you across the room there. And he came over and he greeted us and made us feel really, really comfortable. And then we had two full long days of learning about how to be a Santa and a Mrs. Claus or a helper or an elf. And it was hard work. And then at the end, we had to take the oath of St. Nicholas and we got our diplomas. We got bachelors in Santa Clausology and a lot of information about how to actually go about it professionally, including how to look and how to dress. So, um, yeah, it was really interesting. And at one point, this guy came in late. He's a, a famous wrestler in world wrestling, whatever it is, WWF, and he has a son with autism. And so when he saw Finn there, he's like, what? This is awesome, you know? And so everybody was just super supportive of us. And then, came home, I started making some phone calls. I went to our local mall. I asked the guy if we could try it, but we invited particularly all of our friends to a one. Everyone I know showed up. Oh, okay. What about you, Stuart? What are you thinking? You're still thinking? Have a jack in the box? A jack in the box? I never know when it's going to pop up. We will remember what you guys okay. said, all right? Okay. So, then, Santa. Thank you for coming. Aw, good job, Santa. You're then, so, okay. Santa, Thank then, you. why don't you take them both at home? Oh. Thank you.
And would you guys like an Thank you. And every family, and some families even took their kids out of school that day so that their kid could come. And I, many testimonials afterwards saying, my son can never be around a, a Santa in a mall. I can't do it, but we can do Santa Finn. He was totally comfortable. We uh, have a relationship at Dartmouth-Hitchcock Hospital. Called, um, we hang out at a place called Molly's Place at Dartmouth-Hitchcock. What do you bring to children? Joy. Joy? And what else? Do you bring magic too? Joy and magic? Hoo, hoo, hoo. Yeah, I think that that's sort of our mission statement is Santa Finn travels the world bringing joy and love and happiness wherever he goes during the holiday season. Magic. And magic. So, yeah. What's your favorite, what's the favorite thing of your outfit? Is he working on I'm sorry. Shouldn't Kids. What do you say to those kiddos when you've got somebody on your lap? What's your first question? What's your name? What's your name? Yeah. What else? Have you been a good girl? Or? Have you been a good boy? What else? No. What do you want for Christmas this year? Yeah. Bryce and I think it's very cool, the Finn, that you use an iPad. You're a Santa who talks with an iPad. Right. So how do you feel about being, you're like one of the only, probably one of the few Santas in the whole United States that uses an iPad to speak. So tell me about that. How does that feel to How you? does that make you feel? It makes you feel good? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Finn, when you went down to Philadelphia, who was your favorite Santa down there? Can you tell us? Go ahead and... Santa what's your what's you your what specialty? You yeah. What's your specialty? Oh, what did they used to call you at the at the uh, daycare center? Were you called the baby tamer? Thank you.